Tonight, police investigating a string of reported sexual assaults at NC State. Campus police there tell us the uh, reported assaults happened Friday night at the Wolf Village Apartments on campus. CBS North Carolina's Kelly Kennedy is reporting tonight from campus with the latest on the investigation and what students are saying about it. NC State police tell us all three incidents happened at a party here in the Wolf Village Apartments on Friday night. Now, as you can see, it's pretty empty here right now. It's summertime and there's not a lot of students on campus, which is why the students that we did speak with say they were shocked when they got that wolf alert. It's summertime at NC State, which means most days campus looks like a ghost town. This is the first time I've been staying at Wolf Village since it happened at a party Friday night. I, I just kind of couldn't believe it, especially since it said that there were three different assaults. NC State University police are investigating three reports of sexual assaults that happened on Friday at a party. The police say the victims were all female students who knew their attackers. It kind of makes things a little bit scarier on campus since you know that these are people that they knew. It's not like it was some random person. Valerie Hodges works at the student union. She's a senior and she says most times these assaults don't even get reported. She says victim blaming is the root of the problem and she sees students doing it on GitGak which she calls an anonymous Twitter. When we had these wolf alerts, they would talk crap about the victims. That girl shouldn't have been out. I bet she was completely trash. I bet she led him on and then changed her mind. And I mean, people say things like that, and it's, it's crazy. Both students say they always carry pepper spray and never walk alone at night. They both believe any student found guilty of sexual assault should face both legal and academic consequences. Expulsion from school, it's... We can't have people like that on campus. The students I spoke with tell me there's only students living in about two or three of these apartment buildings in Wolf Village right now. If you have any information, contact University Police. Reporting in Raleigh, Kelly Kennedy, CBS North Carolina.